guys, this is December 6th of Let's Talk About 25 Days of Christmas. Today we're talking about Polar Express. Tomorrow we're talking about Jack Frost. What did you guys experience with this movie? Well, at school they would always play this movie, get some popcorn, <laughs> get a little bit of them napkins, some of those little juice fruity hug thingies. I remember um, we made little pockets at school. And there was you know, little paper bells for it to go inside of it, inside of them. Yep, we put uh, our secret I was, Christmas we, wish. We never watched this movie at school because it had a bad word in it or something. What? Pop, we're talking about Polar Express. Oh. <laughs> I got confused which one you did. <laughs> you, told that. About, you told me about Polar Express at your school, so I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, well, you were talking about Polar Express, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not Jack Frost. Um, Jack Frost is next well, okay, uh, well, tomorrow. I, have a lot, I, I kind of have a lot to say about Polar Express. <laughs> okay. Right. We had, at school, we had pol we had a thing, it was Polar Express Day. Okay. The, the, the day you get to come in your pajamas. You, to school. And, uh... You get to sit in class. They give they uh, you get to watch the movie. When it gets hot, cocoa sing uh, scene. They give they give they give you hot cocoa and snacks. And then uh, and then when he gets the bell, they they, they give every kid a be um a Christmas bell on a string. And, and it was and it was amazing. Man, your school was <laughs> the cool one. And I thought we were cool because cool. we got to see Brain Pop. That made it get cool, seeing Brain Pop, honestly. Uh, I think I'm, I, okay, I either watched it in school or daycare, because I remember debating with kids um, whether or not if it was Dream and if it was animation or not. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Animation or not, I, was it that real? Yeah, as a kid, I thought it was a live-action movie. It wasn't until I was much older I realized it was a cartoon. Because it yeah. looked so real at the time, you know? Like, these look like real people with real situations. Uh, I noticed, okay, it doesn't look real, but it, look, it looks like a PS4 game. Man, motion capture was really ahead of its time. It's weird to think we can like render that kind of stuff in real time now. Um, all right, we gotta take this out of the way. What do you What do you guys think about the animation? It is a very interesting movie. It a animation aged all right on the characters, but the environments are like amazing. I still love the hot chocolate scene. <laughs> I try to do the dance whenever it comes on. Yeah. All right. Well, we gotta go watch it. Save our thoughts for after we watch it. Um. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I love Coco. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with the in between for this one. So maybe you guys will know. You know what kind of train this is? That's perfect. All right, let's go play right now. Hey, hey you. Yeah you. Do you know what kind of train this is? Train. Do you know what kind of train this is? Well, do ya? Uh... And we're back. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's Did so it beautiful! <laughs> oh. He, uh, he, it's a good movie. He learned. It's, it's a good movie. He finally learned. <laughs> Wayne! He gets me every time. Wayne. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's lead. Like being led or leadership, it, it's. I want that believe ticket, don't... honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I want the lean one. <laughs> it's all so powerful. <laughs> it, it rocks your core every time. It's. It's a perfect <laughs> film. Yeah, the hot chocolate scene's pretty powerful, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, the they just only the hot talk. That's impressive. Yeah, it's pretty. It, they're they're pretty. They're pretty neat, huh? Yeah, but it's it's the ending that really gets you, you know. Yeah, like Mister Mister Tom Hank Conductor Man. He's like, you never ever let it cool. These kids are burning their mouths on the hot chocolate. No, no, yeah. I'm mean, the the real real ending. You're 
I, well, I'm, I know what ending you're talking about. It's just, you know, it's like the... I can't, okay, that's uh, a great game now. Yeah. Then again, Puff <laughs> did fall asleep during the stream, so... Boy. I did not. You lie. Well, you were quiet. What if... Perhaps you were infatuated by the beautiful mocap animation. What if someday we did a talk? Let's talk about, but it's like live. That's gonna be, that'd be a disaster. Yeah, that would I'd be, be I'd be honest, be a, I'd be afraid I'd accidentally say something I can't edit it out. Not that I've edited anything out, but I'm afraid I'm gonna mess up saying something. I'm just gonna like embarrass myself and just. Eh. Oh lord! Yeah, yeah. I hold a lot of restraint whenever I speak in the podcast, but I'm just naturally funny. Yeah. Uh, some things mm. you just don't write in. It's the ad libs and the little things that just make things magical. Okay, why did Tom Hanks have to play every adult male? Because because it's meant to be like a dream, but also not a dream. And the dad, you know, they're all they're all like meant to be like his dad because that's his that's his like you know male figure in his life. Oh, so it's kind of like Joker, where, uh, you're... It's hard to figure out what's real and what isn't. He didn't... He didn't see Joker. What? You didn't see Joker? Dude, that was the biggest movie that year. Honestly, it was a little... It was a little... It was alright. It was a little overblown. Over, like, overhyped. Come on, Pape. Do you really think a movie like that could start a movement? Oh. You Have know, you seen what Express it's like is a lot. Yeah, Full Express was a lot like Joker, a, a, a character slowly losing their mind. You know. But then but, getting the true hobo. power. Being there, was able no to there was no train. There was no train. What? There was a train in Joker. See, it's the same movie I told you. <laughs> it's it, that, that's the true theory. Avatar: The Last Airbender is an anime. Avatar: The Last Airbender is Avatar, the the movie that James Cameron made. I thought Shyamalan made it. No. Oh, oh, wait, wait, you mean the, uh, the blue cat avatar? Yeah, that one. The one Never about the gumball it. people. You know, that it. movie made so much money, I don't remember anything about it. It made so much money, but it didn't really seem like it would have made that much money. <laughs> yeah, it, like... It, if it wasn't for the 3D effects, it would have made no money. Yeah, yeah. Tangled would have beaten it for sure. 3D is just 3D was just everyone went and saw Avatar. They thought it would be the next big thing. And then we got the 3D TVs. They were too expensive for me to get because I was like 10. So I can never get one. And I still really want one. And the PlayStation 3 had 3D on select games. I want I want I want a 3D TV, man. They had like a little marking too if a PS3 game had 3D support. So many someone even had that. Yeah, because an open seat there was like a promo for open season where they kept mentioning uh Sony's got the best new products with the new Blu-ray 3D. You'll be able to watch your movies like in the theater. Oh yeah, the open season one. Yeah, that's pretty great. Just so weird looking back because God, I haven't seen open season in years. I don't have very fond memories of Open Season. Everything I remember is just the movie being bonkers. I, I, I have nostalgic memories of it because I used to watch it a lot with my mom. I was a bit more nostalgic for the sequel, if I'm being honest. Yeah, the sequel... I think the sequel is more nostalgic than the, um... Something about that creepy poodle. So, uh, Polar Express has a Guinness World Record. Four? First ever... The first ever movie, the first ever feature-length movie to use motion capture. Ah, to be really? That, to that be every character. 
<laughs> Man. Pop over here looking at the IMDb. Oh no, I forgot actually, to say the description actually, of the movie in the intro. Actually, actually it's fan who doesn't know Ford Express? Actually it's Fandango, excuse me. Uh oh. Hey, I mean Mocap was pretty big for Disney for a while until Mars Needs Moms. Y'all remember that movie? <laughs> Stand back! The library I'm sorry, at least on the Wii. Have you seen the Polar Express GameCube game? Wait, what? Is... <laughs> Let me see this. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, man, got an ad while I'm trying to find this bad game. Ooh, hey now! Whoa, yeah, no, Lordy! Did you game mine? No. <laughs> you guys Whoa. are terrible. What the heck? Yeah. We can rag on the um, we can rag on the movie all we want, but the GameCube game looks atrocious. It just reeks of that mid two thousands kids game thing, you know. It kind of reminds me of the Meet the Robinsons game. That of all the games, that game's compatible with the, with the new Xbox. What? What? <laughs> okay, so Fifty Cent Bulletproof doesn't make it on the Series X, but the Polar Express game does. Yep. <laughs> no Sneak What's... King, but we get, po we, but we, but we get Meet the Robinsons the video game. Got some priorities. Hey, Got Meet em. the Robinsons was a good movie, but the game was so boring. What are you doing? It? Did you meet? Did you, did you get to meet the Robinsons? Okay, oh, so I had the Wii game. The we got it from the GameStop. Wait, 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 before you say the thing. Or actually, go ahead. Go first. Go first. I interrupted you. I'm sorry. The Robinsons ahead. game was literally a prequel to the movie where you're playing the kid trying to like get his dad from the past. And if you've seen the movie, you already know what's going to be happening by the end. Huh. The main kid was voiced by the 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 the, the kid that played um, June, Junie and uh, Spy Kids. Wait, which Spy Kids? The good Spy Kids. The first one? Yeah. Okay, I remember. This is the voice actor for him. I remember. Um. We got, um, Meet Robinson's game from GameStop, right? Brought it home. It was for the Wii. We bring it home. We could not figure out how to play it, and we returned it. So we it was, couldn't it figure was, out how to play it. It was the confuse. The controls were too confusing. So yeah. Plus, if you could figure the controls out, the game was so boring. Hmm. Like, come on. Oh. I've watched like I've watched like one video about the Polar Express video game and it looks really ba bad. It it like okay, it, 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 there's this part in the game. You you just you're on just on the boat. You're on the not the boat. You're on the train, right? Okay, they made the the one puppet that the dude was throwing into a into an into a villain. <laughs> You are just like me, buddy. Why does that kind of remind me of the... That kind of reminds me of the Monster House game on DS, where, uh... You literally were, like, fighting books and junk, and every time you killed an enemy, they would explode and the chunks would hit you. I remember hating that as a kid. Okay, in, in, the, Polar, uh, in the Polar Express game, they... They, okay... It goes literally. You're on. You're on the. Uh, you're on the train, and then it goes immediately to just this. Just skips a whole bunch. Goes immediately to the scene with where they're chasing the present. What? <laughs> Man, looking at these graphics, they do not age well. Neither do the movie's graphics. <laughs> Oh, hey, at least the movie has, not really. The movie has some charm to it. 
That's like a mild hot sauce take. No, 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 no. Wait, salsa. Hot salsa, sauce? yeah. <laughs> I meant salsa. The Polar Express game, though, is, uh... What the heck? I'm watching this video on it, and seeing the puppet, like, throw a soccer ball at the kid is just so weird to me. Why did they make it a villain? I guess the Polar Express really didn't have a villain, but they needed one. I don't know, it's kind of like in the Cat in the Hat game, where they try their hardest to make Quinn so overpowered. <laughs> he's Quinn? Just, he's, just a, he's just a JoJo character. Oh, wait, who's Quinn? I think it was like one of the characters in the uh, Cat in the Hat movie, the one with Mike Myers. No, I mean, like, no, I mean, like, which character is he? I mean, I even remember. in the game, they're like, wait, what's this about him being immensely powerful? Oh, oh, so the script's changed. You know, you think you could have told me that? The main in character combat? of this game? Is he, the, is he the guy that was, like, the the mom's girl boyfriend? I don't know, he was, mom's girlfriend. I think in the movie, he was, like, uh the neighbor like trying to go after them oh, or that's, something that's, that's uh we need to watch uh, the cat in the hat movie after uh, this is all done this is when this is all done so this is a burden for you to lawrence. do his name is lawrence yeah 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 lawrence Ugh. That's weird. My uh, voice thing went off. So what were we saying? Uh, I was saying that the, the boyfriend's name is Lawrence or Larry. Let me think. Hold on. If Quinn wasn't in the Cat in the Hat movie, then I think they literally made him just so that they could, uh, just what, so they what, could. What, what, what's the character? In the game, he was like a guy who stole the uh, magic. I'll look, I'll look him up. Oh, oh, he's uh, the next door neighbor of the Walden. The kids right. in the movie. Yeah, it's Lawrence then. Oh, oh, so uh, Quinn was literally his last name, but they called him by his last name in the game? What? I guess. I don't get that. Why don't, we, why don't you save this for the Cat in the Hat episode? Yeah, this is about Polar Express, yo. Yeah. Hey, we were talking about the Polar Express game, and whoa, hey now. The, why does the train kid in the Polar Express game look so untextured? Oh. I'm sorry, I'm Bear. watching this Polar Express gameplay video, and wow. I, it's terrible. I knew it was bad. I didn't know it was that bad. Is no. is it Char is it Charlie and the Chocolate Factory bad? That's a good movie. I'm at the game. Oh well, it's still a good movie. Very. Eh, I kind of like the Gene Wilder version a bit more. How dare you? You need you better you better run. Hey, I'm just saying, if you want, if you right want to, like, can. uh, I, hold on, I, don't make me do this, I got a Nerf gun. <laughs> oh no. He's gonna shoot. Kit, run, it's your turn to run, go, go, go. Oh, oh crap, oh, where'd the bullet go? <laughs> this, is, this is your chance. He's distracted. <laughs> He's gonna snipe you! Okay, I got, I got a plane ticket to, uh, to Mexico. <laughs> I, think you, I think we lost him. Okay, good. Re-upped! Oh no! <laughs> you gonna run? Oh, come I think on. He's now. Behind you. I think he's behind you. I live. I live. I'm already dead. Yeah, Inside. yeah.
Is that how about that polar of expressness, huh? Pretty yeah, good, huh? such an emotional movie. I cried like eight eight times. I cry every time when I watch it. That's a lie. I'm sorry. Hey, it's a very a very a very selective movie. What? It like it like makes people cry to a certain extent in some people. I have a question. Who was who was that? Like the the homeless ghost man was was he actually the king of the North Pole? Um, there was Did he die. There was a deleted scene of the the fireman and the engineer talking about him. He's like he was like on the train for like it was a whole deleted song. But yeah, he was like he's like a legend on the Polar Express. Like he's like you know a ghost. <coughs> I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die. That's illegal. It's, it's too late. D- die when we're finished with this recording. Maybe I'll die when I'm like when we're done with this whole podcast. Uh, nah, nah, nah. That would be a rip off of Unus Honest if you died then. No one's gonna know who Unus Honest is. Honest is gonna be the end in like two days. <laughs> it's already over if you're listening to this right now. Yep. Unless you found it, figure out a way to listen to it before, which I don't know how you would, because probably not gonna be on YouTube. But... Freaking hackers, bro. <laughs> they like hacked the into my CIA hard drive. So, like, what's your guys' overall thoughts of Polar Express? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty lovely movie. Pretty well, Kit, what's your thoughts? Well, you know, like, you know, like, because there's a train? Well,. That one shot of it, like going around the uh, the mountain, like all spirally and everything, it's like pretty nice, nice and pretty. As a kid, I used to hate that because I was like, "Oh no, the train scenes are over." Yeah, and then it was just boring movie. Okay, but, you, oh, you're I, the, I you're learned the, to appreciate that's a really nice movie. You're the one to ask. Okay, can trains actually do the things that that it does in the movie? No. Like what? What would it do wrong? Well. First off, uh, let me just, uh, <laughs> let me get started here. Um, so first off, the train is too big. It's actually based on a narrow gauge train, which is, which are much, much smaller. Uh, it going up the mountain like that. No, that's, that's a lie. Secondly, there should be a plate between the knuckle couplings like that. So, you know, people can cross over e- with ease. Thirdly, I think, I think maybe thirdly, hmm. you know, it's just, they don't, they don't Is throw something people up the with him, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just can, wrong. Trains can go on ice, can't they? They can't go on ice like that. No, I don't think so. It's a lie. It's a lie? <laughs> it's called fantasy, not a lie. Wait, fantasy is just lies, I'm going to say Sorry, my uh, voice connection was acting weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, you hate this. Uh, okay, uh... Tom Hanks is amazing in that movie. <laughs> I don't know why my internet's movies. been acting weird lately. Good point. Lean. <laughs> Lean. Lean. That, that, that one, that, it's just you. Do you know what kind of train this is? That's always that, no, no, all the other how kids it? care about how how it's ma- how it's magic, how cool it is, how it just how it just came out of nowhere. He just wants to tell you what kind of train it is. <laughs> Why does he legit look like me when I was that age, though? He does. And growing up, I always looked like Ralphie from Christmas Story. Did you shoot your eye out? Why do you think I wear glasses? <gasps> I you shot knew both it. your eyes out? Well, I, I can't just have a monocle. <laughs> can't just have a monocle. That, 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 well, would just be, was... that would just be that would just be fancy, you know. Well, that's probably gonna, if I ever get laser eye surgery, which I doubt I'm gonna ever do. But like, I'm, I'm to save money, I'm only gonna do it on one eye. Just get a monocle, you know. Be like superb. 
Why would people wear only one particle? Like? My oh me, I am so fancy. Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why do, why do fancy, why do fancy people like only go, uh, only lose vision in one eye? Well, it is simple. The shimmer and the shudder of the diamonds and the gold they must bathe in always will reflect and harm their eyes. You must keep a cl you must keep clear protection whenever you are glistening through the glare. Welp, uh... <laughs> what was that? Ah! I don't know. Sometimes when I do a voice, it just controls me. Okay, I'm just get possessed. He just blacks out. Ah! The hand! <laughs> ah! Oh the feet! Oh lord, Stan Schneider. Ah, oh, no. the wa the ha ah, never mind. My favorite character. <laughs> hero boy. <laughs> what about Hero Girl? Is her name Hero Girl? I don't know. Hero Girl really? sounds it's like a really. Minecraft OC. And you got <laughs> Billy. It's like, my name's Billy! That's actually really good. <laughs> that, 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 scene, that scene, when you're like walking on like the tracks and everything, and he like slips with those rubber boots. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not good. Can you imagine if he actually fell to his death, though? Just like imagine you Die. That. He just dies, and the girl just stops, and just like, you're like, oh. Does that scene freak you out? <laughs> I have a fear of bridges. Get look a bridge! No, not like that. I mean, like, seeing something <laughs> really high up. I was looking at it. Is that did... so? Wait, do you literally do the metaphor where you burn bridges because you don't like them? Like, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. You literally burn them because you don't like them. No, no. But bridges made out of concrete. How can you can't you can't burn a bridge like that? Anything is burnable with enough fire. Okay, take it easy. Uh, I know we're not making <laughs> money right now, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what? don't say that with the kids around. What kids? Who get, what kind of kids is listening to this podcast? If you're listening to this podcast and you're above the age of 20... No, wait. Above the age of 20? No. <laughs> I'm just saying we don't want another... Uh, I can't say his name. James Charles. No, Jake no. Paul. The um, fire guy who works for the uh, crazy animal people. Ooh, 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 Human ooh, Torch? Ooh, uh, Shane, Shane Dotson. No. Really? Yeah. When has Shane Dawson ever done anything fire related? I thought you were going to say when has Shane Dawson done anything wrong. I was like, well, I got a few tweets I can no, pull no. up. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, I'm not gonna say what they are because this is, you know, PG. <laughs> yeah, we try. Yeah. We try. We, we try to be PG. <laughs> we're not PG. Hey, we're like hey. PG. We're like we're like the early 2000s to 90s PG when it's like I, it's actually meant something. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a regular show. We're not as good as a regular show. Oh, it's come like on, we'll show. get there. Regular show had a rough start. We're still in the rough start. <laughs> Don't cry, hey, though. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> if I think about it, we're kind of like uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Uh, how? If we got people to call us. It's a show full of dry humor. But... But our humor is moist. Very sponge cake. 
cheese. I like to eat some cheese. It's like a nice sponge cake. Mm. Or like pound nice cake. Pound cake's cake. good. I like pound cake. Pound cake's good. You know what cake is good? What? Angel, angel food cake. Oh yeah, apparently the Christmas tree cakes were delayed, but they have been released in stores now. Have you guys ever had fruit cake? I uh, had it and uh, it, it wasn't bad. I've never had it. I'm not a fan of pecans, so I can't really eat it. You don't like pecans? I like pecan, how dare you? I don't know. Do like a pecan? It's something about the texture that just messes with me. Hey, do you guys like crayons? It's crayon. <laughs> crayons on tail. Crayons? I said crayons. I referenced, I referenced yesterday's one. <laughs> How dare you, little giggle. Uh, cool the crayon. 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 No. Cray crayon. Do you no. call it a crayon berry? <laughs> yes. Just mock him. Yeah, you just y'all are just mocking me, I, I I swear to god. I'm sorry. Again, it's a regional dialect. What region? Dude, we literally just covered this bit yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here he did this. When did I acquire all these portraits of Patrick? <laughs> as a, how, how, how did Patrick do that? Did he, did he just have them ready? What, you don't have a bunch of pictures of yourself ready? Nope, I don't have. Uh, uh. <laughs> we're just gonna walk into like I'm just gonna walk into like a room one day. It's just gonna be like it's gonna be just a bunch of like embroidered pictures of Gundy. Uh, <laughs> I honestly want that. I I honestly want that. Just like I, I want a rug with Gundy's face on it. Oh Lord! Like it's just your face, or like no, it's like you holding a kinderf gun or something. Oh yeah, yeah, because I have a very big nerf collection. It's true. Yeah, I've seen it. Very, it's very threatening. Heck, I've got my nerf triad right at my uh, <laughs> desk here. <laughs> okay, the the <laughs> the hero girl's image on Google Images, just a stock image, is <laughs> not a picture <laughs> of the movie. It's just a literal, just a cardboard cutout of her. <laughs> Are you have to show that on 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 the screen now. <laughs> Oh, now I gotta. Yeah, don't mention it. It's Dang fine. It. That's all my fault. I know. Ah, that's creepy. I don't like it. Wait, what's on her nightgown? Oh, it's a it's little beds. That's not. That's 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 not cool. I want a Wait. cardboard cutout. I want a cardboard cutout of um the 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 conductor. I also got this Nerf Night Finder I got at a uh, religious thrift shop. Alright, so here's the names of the um of the of characters. There's Hero Boy, Hero Girl, Know It All, Billy Dash a Lonely Boy, Smokey, he's the uh the the uh the uh the fireman, the one with the beard, conductor, toothless boy, sister Sarah. Elf, the lieutenant. Let's head it. Yeah, lieutenant. Okay, I think I have a turn. I have a time. I have a hard time. Elf general. Uh, waiter one, hobo. Waiter number eight, elf. All right, acrobat elf. Waiter number five. Waiter number seven. Sister Sarah slash uh, young boy. Elf number one. Waiter six. Waiter four. Mother. Waiter. Waiter number three. Waiter number two. Right here, girl. Boy on train. Pastry shelves, chefs, every lead, father. Elf number two, elf number uh, Santa Claus, little boy. Yeah. Man. So, so, um, you can, from Walmart, for $80, you can get a Polar, a Polar Express train 
with that's battery powered. And for three hundred and fifty dollars, you can get one that's electric powered. Oh yeah, with one. The Line Polar Express. That's a classic line. Now it's like too expensive. Yeah. I wonder how much coat and doctor cutout would be. Let's see. Ooh, it's on Amazon. Let's see. Life uh, cardboard people conduct your life size cardboard. Oops, let me get. I'm on, I went on Pinterest by accident. Oops. Yipsy. Pinterest is the one with the cookie pictures, right? I don't know, Candy. You know what I don't like. Speaking of cookie pictures, I don't like recipe websites that are like. I just want to know. I just want to know how to make a good hamburger seasoning. But then they're like, it all started with my grandpappy showed me how to make this hamburger seasoning. Back in the year 1965. Back then, the world was a completely different place. It goes into a whole freaking life story, and then it gets to the recipe at the very bottom. Alright. The conductor is... Now in the 48. recipe. Alright. Conductor is $48. So what? A cardboard it's a, cutout. It's a cardboard cutout of him. It's life-sized. <laughs> Hey, that'd be perfect Talk if you were going to, like, recreate Home Alone and you need somebody to, uh, look in the window. True. Uh. I, I... I... I don't like this... Okay. I don't know if I can say this review on this podcast. Um... This... Okay. Can you censor yourself? <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's just okay. If you're a small child, um, skip ahead to some point in the video because this is they're not, they're not going to do it. <laughs> this is not safe work at all. Okay, you ready for this? Five stars. The title is Free Daddy. Review. What? The title is Free Daddy. Oh, no. no. Your review. He's so hot. I love it when he watches me sleep. Cat heart, heart eye emojis. He punches my V chart every night when he when I ride his train. Two cats and sparkles. Three people found this review helpful. What? Make that four because I just I just said it was helpful too. What does that have to do with anything? Oh man, this is a long one. I love this. One. Okay, this is a long one. Okay, so it says this is from G Money. This is yum yum yummy. There is no greater joy than waking up every morning and looking into into cardboard people's. Conductor life-size cardboard cutout stand-up. The Polar Express 2004 is film's eyes. <laughs> he even talks. He even talks to me in in my despair. His soothing voice crawls through my body. <laughs> he whispers nice things to my ear. What? Leaving me speechless every time. Oh, how I long to feel his everlasting presence once again as he groans my name. His abs and his buttocks, undescribable. How I fantasize at, at night about his love, yet he refuses to love me back. I love what? you, cardboard people who conduct your life-size cardboard cutout stand-up. The Polar Express 2004 film, I love you. <laughs> just, just, you just, he, 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 it just slowly slides over to your bed and goes, Do you know what kind of train this is? <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these, are, these are real, by the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put wait, these wait, in wait, the- Wait, that wasn't his line. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna put these on screen because these are real, and I want to show these off because these are amazing. <laughs> well, that's more editing you gotta do. It's fine. I'm gonna go to see all the reviews because I want to see what else there is. Oh, there's nothing else. All right then. I honestly did not expect to see that on the uh, cardboard cutout. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to top that. So. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> two, um, two thousand four film. Like I just said, um, we're not gonna be able to top that. So I think we just, just should just like wrap it up because that was amazing. <laughs> um, do you guys have anything to say about <laughs> say about it all for me? Do you have anything about to say about cardboard what? people? Life, uh, car oh no, is my uh, thing not cardboard. working again? Hello, Gindy. We're about to wrap it up. Mm. Yeah. Why's my connection being weird? I don't know, Mr. Gendy. All right. Well. Hello? What? 
All right. Well, y'all there? Or... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're wrapping it up, Candy. I can't hear. Um, thank you, G Money, oh, and no. I, I that person. I can't name. hear. Candy. <laughs> All right. And thank you to Cardboard People, Conductor Life Size, Cardboard Cutout, Stand Up, The Polar Express 2004's film. All uh, right. For, uh... for, for being amazing with these reviews. That's a good review. All right. Be kind, rewind, Merry Knishmas, Happy Life Year. Yeah. <laughs>